First Thessalonians chapter one, uh, chapter five and verse seventeen it says, "Pray without ceasing." First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and I give double honors to the apostles of Great Moses and do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan since I left. This is a brother Makaza from the train that come. Just want to do a little edification for the Lexi. And the name of this lesson would be pray often. Alright? Pray often because you know in these last days we need the Lord Yahaba Shemel Shai to come and deliver us. Alright? As the scripture said, you know, we haste to the coming of the day of the Lord. How do you haste to the coming of the day of the Lord? We haste by doing the works. But also by praying and fasting and begging the Lord, Yahaba Shemiah Shai, Lord, how Lord holy and just how long does thou not judge the world and avenge our blood? Alright? You pray and beg the Lord, Yahaba Shemiah Shai, for a speedy salvation. Alright? You have to send up them prayers. Pray. Right, so like, you know, you, you pray for one another, you pray and ask the Lord, you know, for strength, for guidance when you get up in the, in the morning, you know, you, 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 you send up them prayers to the Lord, you have a shimmy out shy. All right, when, when you, when you eat it, you know, when, before you eat, after you eat, it's in the Lord that when you finish it, you know, you, you, you give the Lord thanks for the food. All right, let's say like you, you, you at work. And you're about to leave work, you pray and ask the Lord, Lord, you know, deliver me safely home. Deliver the brother safely home because you also pray for one another. You, you're not only praying for yourself. Alright? So, praying is important because that is your way of communicating with the Lord. Alright? If you don't pray, if you, listen, if you don't pray on a daily basis to the Lord, Yahaba Hashimi Shai, basically you saying that, you know, you are your own God. All right, your strength is your own. Firstly, the, the oxygen that you breathe, you don't provide it for yourself. So therefore, wherever you have, wherever you you it, it, that is there, you know, ready for you, the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahshai provides it. All right, if you leave the house without praying, basically you saying, you know, we are lords, we will come no more unto thee. That is what you say, that is, the, that is the, 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 the energy and the vibration that you given off to the Lord Yahaba Hashim Yahshai by not praying. Alright? This is um, James 5 and 16. It says, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another. So we have to pray for one another that he may be healed. The, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man of village much. When you look up the word effectual means that something that you set out to do is going to be accomplished. Alright? So it will be accomplished in the Lord not simply because you pray about it but because of your continuous prayers. That is what makes the prayer effectual and fervent. Alright? Not that you shout out your prayer so that you know the whole city have to hear your words. No, it's because you come, you know, regularly to the Lord Yahaba Shemi Al Shai, you know, begging him, reasoning with him. Lord, I need help. I need I need I need faith. I need understanding. Lord, I, I need faith to help heal these Akim and protect them. Alright, you you keep you know going over back and forth with the Lord over and over and over, and that what makes the prayer fervent because you keep at it. Alright, so you have to keep that fervent with, with praying to the Lord Yahaba Hashem Shai, and he will actually respond to that prayer. Just like he told Daniel in the first day that he prayed, he was heard. What that means is that Daniel didn't just pray for one, one prayer. He was praying fervently. He was, he was praying over and over and over and until the Lord came to him. You don't know if the Lord is going to answer you with your first prayer. You don't know if he's going to answer you with the second prayer. So just keep at it. Keep praying. You need, you need strength. Hey, keep praying for it until the Lord gives you. Alright? Keep, keep at it. Alright? It says, verse 17, it says, Elias, which is Elijah, was a man to like passions as we are. 
and he prayed earnestly listen he prayed earnestly that it might not rain so he keep praying and he keep going to the lord lord hey let this rain stop lord hold up this rain that it have no rain in the city all right it says and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit all right so it's just to show hey when you pray you you stick at it if you you know don't, don't just stop praying don't pray once for something and because you know you, it didn't happen then you stop praying and going about your daily life now nah, you have to continuously pray to your haba shimmy al shai say them prayers over and over and over all right you need you need faith hey keep praying for faith keep praying for salvation keep praying that the lord comes and 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 deliver you from this wicked planet and this wicked flesh keep doing that on a daily basis that is what makes the prayer effectual and fervent because you keep at it all right you have to keep at it all right don't just do it once all right this is psalms chapter 55 and verse 17 i said verse 16 it says as for me i will call upon yahweh and yahweh shimiel shai shall save me it says evening and morning and at noon will i pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice david didn't say i will pray once he says evening morning and 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 noon all right so three times a day david say he prayed unto the lord for that deliverance so he's sticking at it and it's the same thing that we have to do we have to stick at it all right basically as david said the least you're supposed to be praying to the lord is three times a day the least you're supposed to be praying more than that all right keep going at it keep as the scripture says give him no rest that's what the scripture says give him no rest you have those angels don't give them no rest all right don't give the ears of yahaba shimmy and shai no rest let them angels keep having prayers to send up all right because you continuously praying and and, and begging the lord yahaba shimmy and shai so prayers coming and he will say hey, you know what this just like this woman just like this woman right um that had the the, the plague of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, of the blood for many years she kept praying all right in the in the in the parable that the angel told um ezra when he told them you know the woman she was barren for 30 years and for 30 years she prayed and asked the lord for her son and then she got the son all right it was a parable concerning jerusalem but at the same time what the lord was showing that guess what sometimes it takes a while of praying before you get or before you receive what you're asking for so just keep at it just keep keep at it keep begging the lord keep going to the lord yahaba shimia shai keep going to him because he's hearing you we can't force the lord to do what we want him to do the scripture says he is not above your maker so therefore the lord works on his timing and not yours all right so just keep going to the lord yahaba shimia shai and he will heal you he will strengthen you. he will whatever you desire he will give it to you but as the scripture says you receive not because you ask not or you ask amiss all right you act wrongfully all right so you have to keep going to the lord if you're asking and you're doubting and the scripture says let him that doubt it think not that he will receive anything if you doubt it, that the lord will help you and you're going to the lord every day every day the lord ain't gonna, gonna answer you because you're doubting you you limiting the holy one of of, of yashala so you have to believe that you're gonna receive it and just keep going and just hoping that the lord will answer your prayer but you have to just keep going at it keep going at it and the lord will answer you in due time he will answer you in due time the least you're supposed to be praying is morning noon and evening that is the least all right send up prayers as much as you could if you have a decision to make and you're uncertain about the decision pray and ask the lord yahaba shimmy al shai what decision to make ask him to lead you in everything send up prayers in everything send up prayers all right 
This is the book of Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. It says, And shall not Yahweh Shemiah Shai avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? So they cried unto the Lord day and night. But the Lord being long. But guess what? He cannot answer their prayers. So the Lord could be being long with you. That don't mean he's not hearing you. That don't mean he's not answering. He just being long. So keep at it. Give him no rest. Keep praying. Don't stop. Just remember, on the altar with the incense was the prayer of the saints. So your prayers is a sweet, a sweet smell unto the Lord. Shai. So think about you praying once and that is it. Then that smoke wouldn't go up for a long time. It would be just one puff of smoke to the Lord's nostril. So the Lord wants that, that smoke to come up continuous. So that means that you are to send up continuous prayers. So that is why he being with you long. Because he enjoying that scent. It's a save unto him. Means that he enjoys when you pray. Alright? And therefore he will reward you because of that sacrifice you sending up to him. Alright? So send up them prayers to the Lord because it's a sweet incense unto the Lord. Alright? The prayer of the righteous man pierced in the cloud. It's going up. All right, it's going up. All right, but you can't just be going about your daily life not praying to the Lord. You have a shimmy out shy if you leave home without praying, and you could get into an accident. All right, and because you didn't get into the accident, you just going out on your own power, thinking that hey, you know, just it's something that you're doing and everything just good. All right, you being as careful as you could so nothing could happen to you now. Nah. Nothing didn't happen to you because the Lord delivered you. Alright? But you going out and not praying, you basically going out on your own strength and saying that you don't need the Lord, Yahabah, Hashem, Shai, which you do. So you always beg the Lord for protection. Always always go to the Lord, Yahabah, Hashem, Shai. Alright? There's the final precept here. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves. Don't trust in yourselves to say, well, I have the strength in myself. It says that we should not trust in ourselves, but in Yahweh, which raised the dead. This is how you are to trust in. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. All right. It says, who delivered us from so great a debt and doth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. All right. It says, he also helping together by prayer for us. That is how, the, because Paul prayed for, for guidance and, for, for, and for, for health and for safety. And by you also sending up prayers one for another. All right. That helping. It's the prayers that helping. It says that for the gift bestowed unto us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. All right. So, because many prayed for one, the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahshai gonna answer that prayer quickly. All right, because there's plenty of prayers coming up. All right, so you have to pray for one every time you you bow down to pray. You know, send up them prayers for one another. The effectual prayer of the righteous man avail it much. Send up them prayers to Yahaba Hashem Yahshai. He will hear you in due time. So with that, I wanna give all praises and all glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahshai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who do real well. Salutations to the men of the whole France since they elect. This is a brother Makaza from the Trinidad Camp saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.